enter the realm of an actually impressive omen film. It's intriguing how our cultural landscape has swiftly provided us, within a mere fortnight, with two distinct horror narratives featuring young American nuns encountering sinister plots by a demonic faction of the Catholic Church in Italy. One involves the conception of a biological heir to Jesus Christ in Immaculate, while the other delves into the emergence of the Antichrist in the First Omen. And no, revealing details about the First Omen isn't spoiling much. It's a prequel to Richard Donna's revered 1976 classic, The Omen, centered on an American couple's chilling discovery about their son's satanic lineage. Renowned horror maestro Wes Craven once remarked to me in 2007 about the reflective nature of horror cinema on societal undercurrents. He connected the surge in gruesome imagery in horror, particularly in the torture porn genre, to the unsettling realities emerging from the Iraq and Afghanistan wars. Similarly, as our world grapples with debates surrounding bodily autonomy amid the overturning of Roe v. Wade and the proliferation of religiously motivated laws, it's hardly surprising that horror narratives emerge, mirroring our anxieties back at us. Directed by Arkusha Stevenson and co-written by herself, Keith Thomas, and Tim Smith, the first omen cleverly intertwines societal unrest with its eerie narrative set in 1971 Rome. Against the backdrop of protests, young novitiate Margaret Dana finds herself embroiled in a web of inexplicable visions and unsettling encounters, particularly with Carlita Sciana, a troubled girl at the orphanage. As Margaret delves deeper, confronting the disturbing possibility of Carlita's link to the Antichrist, the film navigates between the turmoil of the streets and the horrors lurking within the confines of the church. While the plot may strain credulity, Stevenson's direction prioritizes style and atmosphere over narrative coherence, drawing inspiration from Italian horror and Gala traditions. The first omen immerses viewers in a visually rich tapestry of dread. From haunting imagery to heightened performances, the film crafts a surreal, dreamlike experience that transcends mere jump scares, tapping into deeper existential fears. In essence, Immaculate and The First Omen transcend their absurd premises to deliver immersive, emotionally resonant horror experiences. As they borrow elements from Italian horror and embrace height and aesthetics, these films offer more than fleeting scares. They invite audiences on a nightmarish journey through the darkest recesses of the human psyche.